All right, so I am extremely excited for this. So if you're a fan of The Sims, Stardew Valley, and GTA, this is the game for you. So stick around, because I'm going to show you a brand new game that's not even out yet, and how it's just going to blow everyone's mind. All right, so first what we're going to do, okay, um, we're going to watch the trailer for this, right? After watching the trailer, I am going to give you information on more details about the game um, and the assets they're using, Some just some extra little tidbits about it that I think that'll really interest you all. I am extremely excited, especially lately since I've been playing a lot of like your farming sims on Steam, like Big Farm Story, um, Sunhaven, games like that, but I'm looking for a little bit more. Uh, this right here, when I saw this trailer, a friend of mine sent me the, uh, the trailer and I checked it out and I was like, oh my God, this is it. So I immediately jumped into the Discord, I grabbed as much information as I could, and now I cannot freaking wait till this comes out. So we're gonna go ahead and check out the trailer right now. Let's go ahead and watch it. Let me turn up the volume. So right off the rip, like immediately, the farm plots look so much better from a lot of the games I've been playing. Um, graphically, this looks so freaking good. But look at the detail of the corn. Look at that. You can actually see the corn in the leaves. You see everything on here. And I'm not going to keep pausing. Let's just watch it. I'm excited. Look at this. You drive your friends around. Come on. <laughs> How many of you have actually played a game like this and you wanted to actually truly build your home and decorate it? Come on. Multiple stories. The fridge actually works. The fridge. Hold on, hold on. Let's go right there. You can actually use the refrigerator and see. Oh, man. Look at that. Looks like they showed the the weather patterns there in the day and night. Um, it looks like there's a. I've seen this trailer before, obviously, but there's every time I watch it, I notice something new, and I want to, and I think of something different to say. But with this, I mean, it looks like there is a completely thriving town of NPCs, and it, the game feels alive. I guess that's what I'm trying to say, and I like that a lot. But we're gonna continue on. <laughs> the deliveries that way. Yeah. A freaking balloon. A hot air balloon. Yes. <laughs> Look at this. A full-on freaking bar. You could dance in it. They got music playing. Look at all the detail of everything on the walls, the bottles. You know, I mean, everything. Even the tables have actually things on them. It. Come on. You got a boat. You can swim. This looks like these are their dungeons. This looks like one of the dungeons right here. Yeah, it is. That looked really good. Oh! 
What is that? I wonder what that was. All right, so I'm going to pause. It's pretty much over right there. So the game is The Rangers. New beginning, okay? You see it on the screen. Tell me, if you are a fan of the farming sim style games, you cannot tell me that you didn't look at this and go, wow, this actually looks pretty freaking good because it truly does. Not only does it look good, there are extra details that I'll, I know a lot of us have been really wanting in those style games. For one, the hunting. You can actually mount on a horse with a rifle and go hunting for game in this. The fishing, all of us critique the fishing in every one of those games. The fishing in this looks absolutely amazing. The water looks freaking good. Everything about it looks so much smoother and so much better. And like I said before, the world looks alive. Okay, so we're gonna, right now, we're gonna go through some screenshots. All right, so right here we have the dungeon. Um, I like this. Um, the dungeon actually looks like a real dungeon that you're gonna go farm for a lot more materials, ores and things like that with monsters, etc. From here, it looks like you have, you have your co-op and friends. Let me tell you something about this really quick. Um, the screenshots are gonna keep going, but they did build this game from the very beginning to work with co-op and multiplayer. This isn't one of those single player, they were gonna change it over. They wanted it to work together cooperatively with friends. So that's pretty awesome. Um, and just going through the screenshots, I mean, the game looks absolutely amazing, beautiful. Um, I want to say that the biggest thing that I took from it was the fact that it looked like a like a full game. It didn't look like some mobile app or some Facebook game that you play for free. This looks like a lot of time and effort was put into it, and that's something that I can appreciate and most of us can appreciate. I mean, look at the town. I mean, the fact that you actually get your crops, you're not just dropping it off in a box, go to sleep, wake up, and everything's sold. You actually deliver things to the residents in the town. Um, to me, that feels more intuitive. You feel more involved in the community that you're working in and creating your, your life in. And I like that a lot. Um, so what we're going to do right now, we're going to go through some of the details of what's going on in the game itself. Like I mentioned before, multiplayer. Built from the beginning with multiplayer capabilities, the player can explore a vast open world alone or with friends, so up to four friends. Um, this is powered by Unity, um, in case some of you are wondering what they were using. I know some people do. Personally, I don't care as long as the game runs and looks good. Um, they have an auction market. Now, to me, this is huge, huge. So in this game, you have your auction to sell off a lot of your supplies in game, but there is also a companion app for your Android or iOS device that you can download. And when you're away from the game, you're doing whatever, you're making dinner, whatever it is, real life situations, you're on your phone, you can still access the auction market from your phone and still make your sales from it um, or purchases, which to me, that's freaking cool. What other farm sim has that in its game? That to me is cool as hell. Um, as I mentioned before, smart weather and season systems it says here the whole player experience in the game world simulation change when the weather and seasons change combined with the systematic engine to give that rich, unique player experience every in game day. Huge. Um, it is mentioning about the systematic engine. There is a link between all the systems and items in the ranchers, every system or item can actually influence and link to others based on its current physical, chemical, or game state, leading to a unique, totally anonymous world simulation. In other words, that also lets us interact, take, destroy, burn, and transfer every object he or she sees fit in the game. Everything is interactable. We can burn it. We can, like, behave, like for example, if I wanted to go over to one of those plants in the bar right here, light it on fire, I could. That's what it's telling me. That's pretty awesome. Now, they are saying it's a service-based game with new free content drops every real-life season um, and that the game will continuously grow and evolve. To me, that's huge. That means they're planning this for long-term, okay? They want to step the, the developer wants to establish this game let it out, but then at the same time, every season, reward us for something, whether it be free furniture, 
uh just a whole new world like every season making you feel like you're truly in the game that your money is well earned to me that's huge that's that's a freaking awesome let's go on to the quick number stuff right here and then as it mentions here these are subject to change okay uh if you're wondering how big it is if it's just some small little area or not the map size is 16 kilometers 16 freaking kilometers okay uh that includes the player farm countryside zone town center beach zone two forests and randomly generated mines and islands okay um uh, i don't know if you guys saw the boats in the trailer i'm sure you did there are islands on this whole area that you can actually travel to i guess you can get more crops i don't know yet um i'm assuming that's where you would go to either fish or find uh new mats things like that to me that's just cool knowing that you can get on a speed boat and just tear off somewhere that's freaking awesome um as far as the life itself there's 20 romanceable characters 20 towny characters randomly generated pedestrians which are like the town visitors two events slash season that the player can take part of i'm not 100 sure on what that is about but i'm assuming it's something that the town puts together on their own kind of like uh they're Maybe like they have like a fundraiser or festival for Thanksgiving. I don't know what it is. And you do certain quests maybe that you get together and you actually become part of. To me, that's what I'm thinking that is. As far as the crops, it uh, looks like we have a variety. Uh, 80 plantable. That includes 10 seeds per season, 5 fruit plants per season, 5 fruit trees per season, and 10 fertilizer types. So we definitely have plenty, plenty to plant. I am wondering if uh, if it's something that you can just get at any time as far as a certain the, the farming sims, you have to reach a certain level. I didn't see any sort of level progression in this from the video or even the screenshots. That's something we don't know yet. Uh, but the fact that they have plenty of things for us to grow, which is pretty kick ass. We're almost getting to the part that I'm really happy about. Uh, animals, animals. All right, so five poultry animals, five barn dwelling animals, five dogs and cats, which are pettable, which you saw in the trailer, you could pet the dog, uh, 20 wild animals for hunting, 20 insects for bug hatching. As far as the bug hatching, I'm wondering if it's gonna be more of like a trophy thing or if we're gonna use it for like bait uh, for fishing. I don't know yet. Um, 20 fish and 20 unique monsters for combat which I am guessing is for like a lot of the dungeon crawling for that. Um, here we go. So the crafting and building. Now, you have three barn, three coop types, two greenhouse types, 10 building our teaching for our teaching goods, uh, which in other words, we put in the parentheses, transform fruits to wine. How many of those games have you played where you can you can actually take some of the fruits that you have and turn them into something else. There's a few, I mean, yeah, you can change corn to like feed and get the feed of chickens, but come on, fruits to wine. Six energy producing buildings, 60 freaking house parts, 100 house furnitures, 80 decoration items, and 30 cooking recipes. I mean, just judging from the video we saw, the, there's a multiple I, I feel like with that i'm in a sims game because you have your character you have your bathroom you're completely building this the way you want and you're living there and it feels like it's truly your home it's not just you have a handful of items you place them down and it still looks stale as hell this looks freaking good okay period hands down i'm excited for the building because the fact you can have multiple stories and the way they did it to where a lot of the the objects actually go transparent for you to see more i feel like i'm in a damn sims game which is huge as far as the tools and weapons you have six farm tools you got your basics your axe picks etc uh you have your cl six close combat weapons six long range weapons gun we saw that three bomb types uh we did see in the trailer with uh one of the bombs being used to blow up one of the areas um and then you have each tool and weapon is upgradable, um, which is big. Um, so I'm, I'm guessing that the harder to find or harder to harvest mats are going to be needing that upgrade from that, which I like a lot. I, I don't mind that. Uh, we did see some vehicles in the trailer uh, from the deliveries, from the day and night cycle and the weather. We did see that. Uh, so there's 10 standard cars, five luxury cars, five good delivery cars, 
five animal transportation vehicles, five bikes, um, and five bicycles. So you've got your motorcycles and you've also got your bicycles. Um, I know you can read it right there, but I'm mainly doing this for those that just want to listen. Uh, this is huge. This is this is absolutely amazing. And like I mentioned before, uh, for Stardew Valley fans, Sims, and GTA. I mean, come on. Come on. You can't beat that. Um, so I'm really excited about the game. I truly am. Uh, the things I'm... I mean, the greenhouses, I did notice too. Um, that is massive for me. Absolutely massive. The fact that you can have greenhouses for a lot of your items. And you really feel like you're building a farm for long term in this. It's not just, I'm planting corn. I need gold. I need to buy something else. Like... This looks freaking good, Graf. Fantastic, Graf. So make sure if this is something that you're interested in to uh, check out the YouTube link that I placed in this description. Also check out the Steam page. Um, add it to your wish list. Um, I haven't seen a definite date of release yet, but to be honest, I want the developers to take the time, make sure that this release is smooth as possible because this right here is going to be freaking awesome. Okay, we've been waiting for a game like this for our farm simulators this is this is going to be it this is going to be huge i'm telling you right now it's going to be gigantic um and i'm extremely excited for this and i cannot wait to get my hands on it hopefully we'll have some sort of like alpha test or something like that that i can actually show you um and be a part of and i'm excited i hope you're excited as well um i'm telling you this is this is gonna freaking blow up other than that you as usual Stay hydrated, stay cool, or warm, sideward out.